number two. Okay, so we're going to make this video. This is the second attempt at this. My other video, I stopped short to start over. Um, we're going to talk about monkeypox. Now, I'm going to read this shit from Google. You guys can go Google it. And then I'll possibly try to attempt to show you an image. According to the outbreak of monkeypox, a viral disease confirmed in May of 2022, the enteral cluster cases were found in the UK, where their first case was detected in May 6, 2022, as an individual traveled to the likes of Nigeria. Okay. We're going to first go and show you some images. I'm trying to charge my phone, y'all. But this was important. Alright, so... That there is pretty bad. Alright? So you kind of know what you need to look for. That there is pretty bad. Oh dear lord. That there is pretty fucking bad. And there. And there. there and again there all right so I'm um I'm pretty pissed off so what does monkeypox do to humans a rash that can look like pimples or blisters that appear on the face inside the mouth and on other body parts, like the hands, feet, chest, genitals, and, and or anus, this rash goes through different stages before healing completely. Okay. So I'm only going to say this once. No. And not because I'm trying to be a dick about this shit. It didn't give me a whole origin story. It just said that it came from the likes of Nigeria. That does not mean that it was informed in Nigeria. Like other diseases that have caused other problems. Yeah. And said the um, corona, COVID, whatever the fuck. Corona. One. This is two times that the world has let everyone down. And especially the poor fucking sap that got it in the first place. And I say that respectfully because I, right, if you don't know what you have, that's one thing. But if it doesn't look normal, because everybody knows what a fucking zit looks like. And if you don't know what a zit looks like, okay, you just have some really good skin. But everybody knows what a fucking zit looks like. And the bottom line of it is really quite simple. If you have something and you go to the doctor, and the doctor has never seen it before, right then and there you would think that the doctors would be obligated to, like, Zip it up and lock you up. And I'm not like, like like prison, but inform you and everybody that you've been in contact with that they should probably come down and get tested and checked out. And this way, there won't be global pandemics or um, disasters happening. And this is a thing that um, you guys aren't taking seriously, but I'm going to tell you right now. This is how this shit happens. This is how the zombie apocalypse will happen. Because somebody let patient zero scurry around the world and not try to check this on bitch into a quarantine area. Now, I say this respectfully. Because um, if, if I'm ever to be quarantined, like by government standards, you know, as long as I have things that I can do and like have access to a machine, like a computer... So I can keep up with my stuff. You know, like especially like I'm going to class. So as long as I can finish class and I have to do a quarantine style, do Zoom or whatever, okay. I'm not gonna like it, I'm not gonna be comfortable about it. 
but I'm also not spreading the fucking disease. Now, y'all may say, oh, he's being selfless, he's being a hero. No, I'm looking out for everyone's best interest. That does not make me a hero. That just makes me a concerned citizen of what I have, and I don't want to pass it to anyone else, because what if I give it to somebody I care about, and it kills them? Maybe it won't kill me because I've built up an immunity to it by catching the fucking disease. Alright? But what if it doesn't help everyone else? And if you got this shit, you got it from somewhere. So now, I'm I'm hyper paranoid now. I was bad about COVID, but I wasn't as bad as I am about monkeypox. Because monkeypox is like, damn, you can't shake nobody's hands no more. I'm not shaking anybody's hands. And I, if anybody's watching... Please don't be offended by the air high five. Like, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not touching you. I'm not touching anyone. And I'm going to start um, wiping down everything with Clorox wipes. And I know everyone's like, oh, well, that's paranoid. We did it with COVID. At my job, we wiped down everything. Um, I bleached the fuck out of everything at my job. I'm going to bleach the fuck out of toilets today. And, and the thing is, using ammonia and bleach are like the cleanest things you can actually use. And you know, everybody's talking about hand sanitizers, hand sanitizers, soap and fucking water. Okay? I have nothing against hand sanitizer. I just trust soap and water a little bit better. All right? But the thing is, you know, with this monkeypox thing, you can't be sure if people got it from shaking hands or pissing. And, and the thing is, you know, as a man, I pee standing up, so I don't have two worries about that. But as for women, you know, y'all got to worry a little bit. No, we're good. We're really good. I'm not fist bumping people until this shit is taken care of. Do I want to go get a monkeypox vaccine? Not if I don't have to. I don't want to get anything that I don't know about. Now, yeah. Okay, I was a guinea pig for the COVID thing. I'm still waiting for my money. Because they're, they're tracking me. I'm still waiting for my money. You guys haven't delivered me my money. That was a joke. But anyway, point being made, monkeypox is not a fucking joke. I'm not letting anybody touch anything of mine. Period. Without me getting some kind of something or another to wipe the fucking shit out of everything. And you guys can laugh at me all you want. You can say, oh, you get Echo's hyper paranoid. You're motherfucking right. You are motherfucking right. You know why? Because I don't want that shit. I don't think anybody wakes up every day and says, hey, let's go see what kind of new disease we can come up with today. No. No one does that. And all jokes aside, you should not be one of those people that are gung-ho about shaking everybody's hands that you don't know. No, no, if I see you like, like you got like more than one zit going all the way over here and it's looking like those boils and shit, you know, I'm I'm going to be um I'm gonna be very sorry that I don't shake your hand. I'm I'm gonna let you know right after I say, hey dude, um I'm not shaking hands. I'm sorry. This outbreak of monkeypox. I'm I'm not afraid of catching COVID as much as I am afraid of catching monkeypox. I can live with COVID. No. I don't want to deal with monkeypox. Period. And then the fact that the world doesn't always wash their hands. You know, and for everybody who always talk about let's fist bump with the right hand. Okay. So the world is majorly right-handed. All right? Watch this. Are there more right-handed people or left-handed people in the world? Most humans say 70% to 95% are right-handed. A major minority say 5% to 30% are left-handed. All right? The entire number of people who probably best describe as apodetrous this is apparently a universal truth to all human populations anywhere in the world. So again, the world is 90% right-handed. All right? Very few of you can write with your left hand. Very few of us can write with both. I trained myself to write with my left hand. Now, if I can learn how to wipe my ass with my left hand, I'd be great. Okay, I said that for a reason. The majority of the world is right-handed when the world Wipe their ass with their... What hand you're fist bumping? You should probably fist bump with the left. Yeah, I'm just putting that out there. Same thing with monkeypox. I mean, you just gotta... You gotta you gotta think about that shit. The majority of the world wipes their ass with their right hand. 
it has been proven that monkeypox is not a gay disease. That it is a transferable disease by contact. So if you contact it with contact of someone who has had monkeypox and it wasn't cleaned up, there's a high probability that you could bring monkeypox home from shaking hands, fist bumping, and all the other shit. I'm done. No fist bumping, no handshaking, no hugs. Air high five for me. And if you guys are offended by that, I am sorry. But I don't want to bring that shit home. I'm already freaking out enough of COVID. I'll be damned if I'm not going to be extra cautious on monkeypox. That being said, I am Echo Fan Grey Wolf, and I gotta give it a go to work. So, later guys. Peace in ya.